I'm Heather from Here Booktubes, and today is my June reading journal setup and spread. So if you aren't already aware, in the month of June, I am helping to host the Amazing Readathon, and I am a host for Team Romance. And there are a lot of graphics and a lot of theming around the readathon. It does last the entire month of June, which I do usually only participate in month long readathons for about a week. But because I'm a host and also very much because of the setup of this readathon, it's really not doable to only participate for a week. But again, I'm a host, so <laughs> that option is right off the table. Almost all of my reading, if not every single thing I read in June, will be dedicated to the readathon. And so because of that, my entire June spread is also dedicated to the readathon. Again, because of the graphics and because it's Pride Month and because of all of these things, I wanted to keep my spread kind of on theme for the readathon and the colors that were chosen. The official readathon emblem does have orange on it, but then the team romance is officially pink, so I wanted to prioritize those two colors. And then you'll see other colors in the rest of the spread as well for reasons that, again, were chosen by Brie over over at Four Pods in a Book, who is the creator and host of this readathon. This is the second round of the readathon, but it is my first time participating. Although my co host, Izzy at Happy for Now, did participate last year, and I was intrigued by watching a lot of her content and Shay at Shake Geeks Out and Bethany at Beautifully Bookish Bethany. They are all people that I follow and they participated last year. And that's honestly how I found Bree's channel and how I heard about the readathon and all of that. So very excited to be a host this year, but it is my first time. So because of the colors, I decided to go a little bit brighter than is typical for my journal, my aesthetic, my <laughs> choices in life. I feel like I am pretty well known as fairly neutral on colors. I don't love bright colors at all whatsoever, but I wanted to do the readathon, but also like keep it true to the aesthetic of my reading journal. So it wouldn't be like you're flipping through the journal and suddenly you get whiplash when you turn to this June spread. I wanted it to still flow with the rest of the journal, right? So that's kind of why I made the choices that I made. And I did all the line work before turning on the camera, which I'm so happy that I did because it took me like an hour and that would have been way too much footage of me literally just drawing lines over and over and over again. I did keep messing up uh, specifically on that cover page. I kept doing things not realizing that it was the page I was doing and that's why it ended up the way it is. However, it actually worked out perfectly. One thing about the readathon and specifically where it comes to the journal spread is we really don't know much of anything, right? I know that there are 10 city prompts, so that's why the first page has 10 empty boxes. But then we also have Face Off Weekend, and that's like a 48-hour specific read as much as you possibly can, slightly different challenge, but we don't know like what this is. <laughs> like we don't know what's choosing the choices. We don't really know how many prompts there are. We don't know like anything really except for the dates which it is Father's Day weekend but it will end I think by like noon on Father's Day. So if you do have Father's Day plans it hopefully shouldn't uh, interfere with them if you're here in the U.S. at least you know that is our Father's Day date. So that's when the face off weekend is, but we really don't know anything more than that other than, you know, it's its own thing. So because of that, I basically just left this page blank, but I wanted to have a page specific to it because I know that there will be a lot of things to do and keep track of for it. So it has its own page and then there are 50, I almost said 500. <laughs> 
But no, there are 50 sightseeing prompts, which you can do after you have done your city prompt before the next one drops. I think they drop like every three days or something like that. And they range in points from 100 to 500 points. So those sightseeing side prompts, we do already have all of those prompts, but they are not the focus of the readathon. They are bonus points, basically. So the most important thing is doing the city prompts, which is 10 prompts. So again, like if you want to participate in the readathon, that's all you actually have to do is do those 10 prompts and you get them one at a time. So you don't know what the next one will be. You only know, I believe we know when it will be, but uh, you don't know the next prompt. So that I think is going to be very fun. I think that's really going to work for my brain and keep me excited and motivated and pumped. But then in between those, you do have these 500 point options. Uh, and you also get bonus points if you read a book in the genre of your team. So since I am team romance, any romance book I read will be an extra 50 points. And then you also get an extra 50 points if it is an openly queer author. So if you can go on their socials and you can see that they have said, yes, I am queer in whatever capacity, then they count as that 50 point bonus. If it is a queer character, but you just don't see anything on their socials or their website that says that they are openly queer, you can still read the book. It just doesn't count for those extra 50 points. I know that I read books all the time without checking or being able to tell if the author themselves is queer. I think that that is a good thing. I don't think that only openly queer authors should be allowed to write queer characters. Obviously, there are so many reasons why someone might not be open about their queer identity. So I am all for reading, you know, whatever book you want that has queer characters. Again, it's just 50 points in a readathon. It's not that big of a deal if you read queer representation and you don't get those 50 points, you know? We're not adding anyone just for a readathon. Like, really, really don't. Do not. Do not pester people. Do not question them. Just if you can tell based on their social media presence or their website, I think that that is all that we should really be doing. So, you know, that's always my little disclaimer, my little speech. Know that that's what I think. Uh, so hope you enjoyed the cat <laughs> content. Uh, funnily enough, one of my cats is named Loki, but it's not that one. That one's Floki. So, you know, Loki is something that Brie uses as a uh, nickname kind of in the readathon. So I am curious as a huge Loki fan myself, if we get anything with that. So, you know, if you're not participating in the readathon and you're just here for the journal content, <laughs> sorry, June is very themed to it. But in June, you will be getting my mid year journal flip through, which I am super duper excited about because I am so proud of my journal. I really do love filming things for it. It's not my usual content, you know, it's a little bit of a change of pace for me. And I just, I'm really proud of it. I put a lot of time and money into it. So I really like showing it off. It makes me happy. So I'm really excited to have that in. June, there are some spreads in the journal that have not been shown at all in any videos or posts or anything. So I'm really excited. And then of course, I update it with every book that I read. So it looks very different than it did at the beginning of the year when it comes to tracking my reading. So just really excited to show you all that. So that will be this month. And then also the mid-year book freakout tag will be this month. So that will be kind of a fun reading check-in for some of my favorites and least favorite and most dramatic <laughs> books that I've read for the year so that will be fun content in June that is not involved with the readathon at all but a lot of my content will be the amazing readathon themed I'm going to have vlogs every single week I'll have a special vlog for the face-off weekend and so at least one of my videos every week will be readathon related
If you want to join the readathon and you want to join Team Romance, I would love to have you. It is a very Discord heavy readathon, so you have to join Discord to see all the prompts. So know that ahead of time, I guess. But, you know, I'd love to have you. It's fun so far and it hasn't even started yet. The video before this one that I haven't filmed yet when I'm saying this should be my pile of possibilities for June. So I am looking forward to all the books that I will hopefully be reading. And I'm also really looking forward to filling out to this spread, seeing it getting filled up and, you know, finding out all of the information and being able to update prompts and things. So pretty, pretty excited for June. Definitely hoping <laughs> to get out of this reading slump between now and then but so far no luck haven't been reading at all at all <laughs> so I guess I'm just saving up to read like 70 books in June you know my best reading month ever I'm sure that that is exactly what's going to happen but either way thanks so much for watching bye